Welcome back. Let's talk Hollywood and Hillary. Will the Democrat frontrunner get all sorts of big money from the movie moguls? Well, remember back in 2008, some of those folks helped her, but most of that money ended up with Barack Obama, something we want to talk about now with our panel. First, Skyping in from Washington, D.C., former advisor to Senate Democrat leader Harry Reid, Ari Ravenhoft, and from our Newsmax newsroom, the managing editor of the Shark Tank political blog, Javier Manjarez. Let me go to Ari first. And Ari, although you are on the left, let me publicly acknowledge you were right about Joe Biden. So there's our historical marker. You were right saying Biden would stay up. So this, this, is, this moment in history is recorded. <laughs> I'm sure it will hold up uh, uh, well beyond our posterity. Now, to the campaign at hand, Hollywood and all the dough. Does it end up with Hillary? Probably. I mean, a lot of it, yeah. I mean, Hollywood contributors are Democrats for the most part. There are a few Republican exceptions in the entertainment industry. It's the entertainment industry is a heavily progressive and democratic industry. So, yes, I expect that when they uh, contribute money, that's where they contribute their money. Uh, it was interesting in Aught 8, uh, Javi, because mm -hmm. uh, a lot of that dough initially started for Hillary, then went over to Obama. We are hearing rumblings on the left that there have been some initial uh, contributions to Bernie Sanders. Can the Vermont senator pull what Mr. Obama did in 2008 against Hillary? No, different dynamic. I think Hollywood's going to go with Hillary because she, this is her turn, as they say. But the bigger story here is, where did Alex, what happened to Alex Rodriguez? He's the only one I saw on this list on the Hill posted on Friday that he actually donated to Hillary Clinton. I mean, I know he had half a brain for, for dabbling in steroids, but to vote for, to donate to Hillary Clinton, I don't get it. <laughs> so Javi is out after A-Rod. Uh, we will uh, go past baseball, Ari, and, and get back to the Hollywood crowd. And it, it's worth noting that, uh, ironically, about the time Ronald Reagan left the Oval Office, all of Tinseltown moved leftward. Will Republicans ever see significant support in that creative community known as Hollywood again? I mean, I think it depends on where uh, Republicans go in their issue positions. I think it depends on how Republicans embrace certain cultural elements that the Democratic Party embraces. I think it depends on a number of things. There are there are Republicans in Hollywood, people like I believe I want to say Bruce Willis. There's, of course, Ted Nugent. There are a number of of entertainment industry Republicans out there. They just don't happen to be as many as there are Democratic ones. Uh, I got to ask you this, Javi, just imagine for a moment <laughs> that all that movie money somehow left uh, the Democrats coffers. Would that do in the Democrats electorally? Can they win without Hollywood support? Well, I mean, I, I'm sure they can. I mean, there's enough leftists and socialists around this country that they don't need Hollywood. But, yeah, I think they'd be fine. I mean, again, this country, there's half socialists, I think, with, if you count all the Democrats, including Ari. Just kidding. Uh, but, <laughs> but I think they'll be fine. Uh, there, there's one other note, culturally and creatively, Ari. Uh, one of the Alphabet Networks, I believe it's CBS, has the show Madam Secretary. Now, back in 2007, uh, there was another program on ABC starring Gina Davis as the first woman president. Are the TV networks trying to pave the way in not too subtle a fashion for Hillary? 45 seconds for the last word there. I I've never seen either of those shows, so I can't make a judgment. <laughs> So I can't make any sort of judgment on it. I, I'm going to say no, uh, basically because they'd probably produce better shows if that was the case. <laughs> well, I, I, you know, we may have made history again because I think there was a catty remark about Hollywood's creative class coming from an affirmed leftist right there. Maybe I misunderstood, Ari, but, uh, you know, t two historical achievements during our discussion today. Javi, last word to you. Is that Madam Secretary just just a setup for a Clinton administration? A absolutely. I mean, where do they get this? I mean, it's obvious. I mean, look, it, it is what it is. They're going to try everything they can to, to get her to win because it's, it's a woman's turn, right? Well, we will see about all that. In the interim, Javier Manharis in our Newsmax newsroom and Ari Rabenhoff. From Washington, D.C., gentlemen, you have our thanks. So what do you think? We would love to get your comments. You can send them to us at NewsmaxTV.com slash comments. The Big Chill wasn't only a Hollywood movie. It describes the situation between Israel and the U.S. Alan Dershowitz will talk about it next.